Hey guys, what is going on? It is your buddy Keith here just outside London at Essex Recording Studios. We're live in the control room and I am freshly back from Vienna where I just saw Metallica and Ghost play to like 20,000 people. It was freaking awesome. Killer stadium out there and a beautiful architecture. But now I've got an ESP LTD from one of my favorite guitarists, from one of my all-time favorite bands, right up there with uh, Metallica and Pantera for me. And that is Mr. Willie Adler's WA600 Urban Camo Eclipse. This guitar is just awesome. And you want to know how I can prove I'm a Lamb of God fan? Because I've got hiding over here an Ibanez signed by the whole... Band. I don't know if can, there's some signatures there. There's more on the other side of it. But yes, massive Lamb of God fan. Got all their DVDs and uh, yeah, can't get enough. Saw them with Anthrax and Slayer over here in the UK. That was a tremendous show. And I think Lamb of God really stole the show on that one. Actually, was it Anthrax and Slayer? I think it was Slayer and Megadeth. Maybe for that one. I'll have to go back and look at the footage. It's on my Instagram. Let's chat about this guitar, though. That's why we're here, guys. So this is a bit different. This is a neck-through style, different from the normal Eclipse. You get a lot of access in all the fun bits down here. The inlays are awesome. You get the star inlays with the American flag logo. Really, really cool. And the urban camo throughout the front. Pair of Duncans, killer, killer USA Seymour Duncan pickups, and all blacked out on the back. The balance on this is really, really good. ESP locking tuners, made in Korea. They're finest factory outside of Japan. You still get ESP on the volute of the headstock. Nice binding all around the neck, body, headstock. But the balance on this is something that I picked up on straight away. Really, really nice, guys. This one comes with an ESP Hard case. If you want to buy this guitar, it is for sale at EssexRecordingStudios.com and at Reverb.com. This is the first one I've seen. It is very difficult to get his signature models, uh, certainly here in the UK and in Europe. You can find his like 200 series once in a while, but this one with this finish, the 600, which is the proper one built in Korea... Again, at the best factory outside of Japan, that is like impossible. And if you want his Japanese model, those, those are insane money. Just look it up. I think over here they're around close to 6,000 pounds, British pounds, which thanks to Brexit is coming real close to the same thing as a euro and a dollar these days. But it's still, it's, it's a lot of money, guys. For value for your money, this is where it's at, hands down. It has all of the killer looks. You plug it in, it's gonna sound the same. It's got the pickups. Um, the build construction is world-class. I've got zero complaints about this. One hell of a good looking guitar. All right, guys, I gotta make it short because I've got Loads of gear that just came in the studio that we've got to review and list. I've got a bunch of ESPs hiding back here, brand new. And I've got ooh, a Jackson. What's hiding in there? Got another USA Jackson in the kitchen. And some more Gibsons, some more ESPs there. An ESP Dave Mustaine there. So let me get going. Got too much cool stuff to show you. Thanks again for subscribing. Loyal friends, 
We're only getting bigger. We've blown past a million views, 3,400 subscribers. To our new friends, we say hello, and feel free to use the comment section. Blow up the comment section. Tell us about the, when you went to a Lamb of God gig, if you've got one of these guitars, anything you want to chat about. That's what the comment section's for. We're building a community here, people. Right. I'm going to skedaddle, and I'll be back with another video right after this. Thanks, guys.